All right, we're entering hallowed ground right now. This is the National um, Industrial Museum of Industrial um, something. <laughs> the National Museum of Industrial History. That history. That's that H word. No, I don't. I don't have it with me. Monster gantry crane. Look at this monster. Big old ring gear hanging from it. Oh, man. This is pretty cool. So lots and lots and lots of history here with that name right there. Um, do some research on uh, Andrew Carnegie, Carnegie Steel, and his right-hand man, Mr. Frick, about the, uh, the labor strike um, and what happened and what unfolded due to this man right here. <clears throat> but uh, yeah, this is one of the old portable steam power units. This one's pretty neat. It's got dual power takeoffs on uh, different diameter wheels. On the smaller wheel, you got more torque. On the bigger wheel, you got more speed. It's pretty freaking neat. Because they were able to chill it. Yeah, yeah. Oh my God. So um, I didn't start the. All refrigeration. I didn't start the video while he started uh, talking about it, but this is the first. Um, refrigeration unit ever built it ran with uh, ammonia gas and has the two uh, cylinders there for uh, compression and look at this monster drive wheel look at that wow all right so i'm posting this one for you screw machine guys running swiss and whatnot this is the uh great 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 grandpappy of whatever screw machine that you run this was the first one first mechanical automatic uh lathe and this thing was made in producing screws before most people had screwdrivers so this is the drive side of this contraption which again this is the first um ever refrigeration unit so this this section was made in switzerland and this is the uh, boiler and piston and all that to drive the flywheel that drives the uh, chiller pumps very first refrigeration machine in the world Wow. All right, so this stuff is kind of neat. And this all has to do with uh, silk making and making textiles. <laughs> and uh, the situation with this was apparently, um, this all used to happen in New Jersey. And then immediately once the child labor laws kicked in in New Jersey, that all moved here because there were no child labor laws at the time and uh, it was much more cost effective to employ children to run these uh, textiles machines than to pay a grown adult. Thread machine.
really cool history. Check it out. Shuttle. Oh, silkworms. Alright, so I'm going to do a one shot walk around. Of uh, just basically everything here in the in the museum. If you want to see any of this stuff and read it, just pause the video. Yep, typical machine station. <laughs> and this machine actually does uh, operate. It does function, but they rarely run it. It does not run on steam, they run it on just uh, pressurized air and keep it nice and lubricated. They don't wanna run steam through here, it just makes the humidity too high. And uh, these are Smithsonian pieces. Um, so the risk of rust and, and corrosion from uh, the added moisture in the air is just not worth it for the authenticity. It, it runs just the same on air pressure. It's no different. That's cool. The current caretaker's tool chest. If you're seeing this video, you're a keeper of history, sir. To be commended. And I gotta say, I very much envy your job. <laughs> First uh, gasoline engine. You know, this is the first refrigeration unit ever produced. And uh, pressure vessels here were produced in the States, and the uh, boiler and drive unit over here was made in Switzerland. line drive unit check out that freaking drill press I'm gonna Z travel that nuts. All driven from a leather belt. Radio alarm drill press. Little monster. Get a swing on that thing. Goes out like two, almost three feet past the table. <laughs> nuts. <laughs> Wooden wheels for the line drive. This open face planer shaper. Little boiler unit. Cut open so you can see inside it. And this is a coal unit. that guy he's got some scorching going on what is that guy I wonder if that was for uh, covering up a smelt pot or something cool let it cool down slower I don't know what the heck that's for that's for
pig iron coke plant. Steel production from ore, and then the results you end up with these, and then those get melted down and mixed with you know different uh, amounts of other elements to make your different alloys. To scale, big friggin' forge pot. And that thing rotates and then pours out the uh, all the liquid hot metal into a mold or onto a track to be extruded. Pretty cool hand crank rotary mill, rolling mill. Oh, monster, monster steam hammer. Look at that thing. Monstrous. Homer's wishing well. And we tossed our wish money into it. Real quick down here. Check at that. Steam locomotive print. It's a rough print, but that's still pretty cool. You see that? Yeah. You know, the evolution of train rail, wrought iron to cast iron to steel. Very, very, very cool. That's just mind blowing. Look at this. That's what six inches, six inches thick, and this is armor. This is hardened armor. That shell punched through it. And then this is all just textile stuff, and we've already got videos of that. Just monstrous facility here. Now I'm pretty sure that the video isn't even gonna come close to uh, conveying how absolutely massive this plant is. Check that out. Would you want to be the guy climbing up on those rungs? <laughs> on that riser? Jesus. All the way back out here. Get as much of this in a shot as possible. Big blower. Oh, 
of vines growing up. So yeah, um, anybody out there that might be watching this have any complaints about your job being hard, go fuck yourself. You ain't got a clue what hard looks like. Check it out, hit the section with like Ospo. I guess to keep it from rusting and dropping bits of uh, rust and, and shale pieces on people as they walk underneath. Man, this is awesome. Big old wasp nest. Yep, big ol' wasp nest in there. <laughs> wow. Check that out. That big old plate swings and closes off. That's the valve to shut off that uh, diverter unit. It goes off this way. And again, I mean, this, this video is not going to do justice to scale as to what you're looking at here. <clears throat> but for where I'm, I'm at here, to the top, that's probably almost 300 feet up in there to the top of that tower. Just absolutely monstrous. Dude, look at that valve. That big ass piece of plate. Yeah. <laughs> wow. It's a huge facility. Oh yeah, coke cars or ore cars. Still got a little bit of ore sitting on it. Down in the pits. Wow. Hey, this one's got some ore carts in it that you can actually see. So those carts are pulled up by these cables and they'll be loaded up with ore that drop down into the blast furnace. Wow.
what you're looking at here are the um, compressors and blowers that actually send the, the blast to the blast furnace to do its thing. You see how you we're 50 feet, 75 feet from this monster. So again, this just does not do justice to the size of these machines. And just look at them stacked up. Oh, I don't, I didn't do that. Why did you do that? There. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Twelve of them? A bunch. <laughs> it's that a bunch of very, very large. Machines. Awesome. Thank mm -hmm. you.